Ragland, you know, is one of those waves that I've always dreamt about, and I know so many people have it on their, like, their top five. For me, Ragland is one of the most exciting waves in the world. It's a perfect spot to really enjoy surfing. Hi there, I'm Pat Parnell at the forever revered Raglan Surf Break west of Hamilton in the Waikato. Now after six days of being immersed in all that New Zealand has to offer, our athletes are starting to feel the fatigue and pressure of doing well with only two disciplines remaining to determine the world's ultimate waterman. That being said, camaraderie is very high as we ready for our longboard event. I didn't bring a longboard, so he, he's let me use one of his. He's a nice guy, man. Longboard favorite Daniel Cariopa surfing on his home break, lending a board to his competition. It's in my blood. If someone asks me for a board and I've got a spare one, I'll give it to them. Kai Lenny also has a longboard loaner. His longboard went from roof to road on the way to Raglan. One of the straps came undone in my favorite longboard that I've had for like five years and it broke. It got flung off and the tail delaminated and buckled and I was really bummed because this local shaper, Mikey, who you know shapes for bear surfboards, he lives right here and he's one of the best longboard shapers on the planet. And he loaned me one of his favorite personal boards and the thing is as good as my other one. distinctive styles on display as Connor Baxter, Daniel Cariopa, Kai Lenny, and Mark Visser glide into the finals. DK was super impressive. His longboarding skills is, is top notch. Kai Lenny was really impressive as well. They're just great all round boarders, you know. Tears of joy for Daniel Cariopa's mother as he wins the longboard competition, his double whammy event, so he gets double the points, and he surges into the top spot. You know, I'm really doing it for the family and, and doing it for our community in Raglan. You know, they train their boy well. <laughs> one discipline left, the stand-up paddle, and only one competitor, Kai Lenny, can mathematically catch him to claim the title of the ultimate waterman. You know, anything can happen. It's going to be... Definitely a grind tomorrow. Eight athletes, five disciplines, a week-long drama stretching thousands of miles. And today in Auckland's Mission Bay, only two men left in our field. New Zealand's homegrown son, Daniel Cariopa, and Hawaii's Kai Lenny can earn the title of the world's first ultimate waterman. This is where it gets interesting. The downwind leg of the race. Out front is Connor Baxter, but the big battle is in the middle of the pack between Daniel Cariopa and Kai Lenny. It's the last minute of the week, and I'm just going to go as hard as I can. Leave it all on the water, and uh, you know, may the best man win. Baxter and Ching exchange leads for the entire nine miles, but at the finish, Baxter reaches the beach for the win, eight seconds ahead of Ching. He caught up slowly but surely using his muscles and his strength. Managed to hold him off and uh, you know keep that little gap all the way to the beach and come up first. I was stoked. Six minutes behind Kai Lenny, Daniel Cariopa finishes in fifth place but earns enough points to take the overall title. This will be probably the, the most important title that I've ever won. Not so much because of all the disciplines, but the quality of athletes that I had to prove myself against. Really stoked he won this event. He is the ultimate waterman. Now he gets you know credit where credit is due. 
to wrap up the Ultimate Waterman with these eight athletes and just to see the bond that they've created, that's what the event's about. It's inspiring. Congrats goes to New Zealand's Daniel Kediopa. You can see the entire Ultimate Waterman event as we have a full-length documentary coming out in May right here on Red Bull TV. We'll see you then.